Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Songbird Watcher, where we focus on coloratura sopranos. Normally, this is a first. I'm doing a video on singers who are not coloratura sopranos, but there's plenty of coloratura in this aria. I've been focusing recently on the opera Semele by Handel, which is one of my favorites. It's a great libretto, fabulous inventive music, and has a great starring role for coloratura soprano. But there's another role in there that's also fantastic for a mezzo or contralto, Juno, who is the queen of the gods. It's a showy, great, grand dame role, if ever there was one. I won't go into the entire plot, but basically Juno's husband, Jupiter, king of the gods, is a well-known philanderer, and Juno finds out that he started a new affair with Semele, and she's just had it. She will not have it anymore, so she decides to get revenge. She can't really do anything to Jupiter, so she decides to wreak havoc on Semele. So this aria, which is at the beginning of Act Two and, and pretty much introduces the character of Juno, is a tour de force. It's called Hence, Iris Hence Away. Iris is Juno's sidekick, who's been spying around for her on what's up with the Semele woman. Juno decides she's had it and will take matters into her own hands and puts this plan in place that's kind of convoluted, but she and Iris need to hence away immediately to get things going. I'm featuring nine mezzo-sopranos singing this role live. I've just focused on the repeat da capo part of the aria where there's gonna be some embellishments, although it opens with a little bit of the flourish right before the start of the second verse. With coloratura sopranos, we're used to the ornaments and embellishments taking the line higher typically, but with mezzos and contraltos, sometimes they go high, but often their money notes are in the lower range. So you'll hear these women decorating the line down lower and lower, which is quite fun and thrilling in its own way. I think one of the key factors for this character is an absolute command of the aria and the stage. And it's not just vocal, but it's sort of an attitude. She is in charge. Aside from the various elements of trills and embellishments that each singer does here, I think it's really interesting to look at the various tempos. Obviously, the faster the tempo, the more of a showpiece it can become and aligns with her lyric, which is hence, Iris, hence away, let's go right now. So I hope you enjoy this slight departure from our coloratura sopranos into the depths and thrills of coloratura mezzo-sopranos.